The Havel H6 has just arrived in Australia and is significantly better than the superseded model which, we'll admit, we weren't too keen on. There's no doubt Chinese car companies are very quick learners and keen to be major players in the automotive world, resulting in greatly improved build quality control, as well as improvements in overall on-road dynamics. Cheap and cheerful no longer is no longer the way for Chinese cars, and the Havel H6 is an excellent example of this. However, while the H6 is finished to a high standard it's still very well priced, and after a week's road testing we feel it definitely deserves a place on your shopping list for mid-sized SUVs. There's nothing shy and retiring about this SUV, the name Havel spread in big shiny letter across a large area of the rear. If you've never heard of a Havel before then following one may make you curious to find out more. The Havel name on the front grille is a little smaller than at the rear, but it's obviously there to attract attention. The grille itself is large and meets the front lights to increase the visual width of the SUV. Thus, there's plenty of paint at the front. Having said that, the front lights are quite small, as being LEDs they don't need to be large. There are sharp cutouts in the large front, and these give the feeling this car is serious about being seen. The rear lights also spread across the width of the car. The cabin is large, and the squared-off shape gives it good space for five, though we feel the person sitting directly behind the driver may have to request extra knee room from them. It's finished to a very high standard with soft-touch surfaces and trim which almost looks to be real leather. There's almost 600 liters of cargo space when all seats are upright, which is great for the class, and with the 60-40 back seats folded down you can carry up to 1485 liters of goods. The LUX variant we tested had twin multifunction 10.25-inch displays for driver instruments and infotainment. These have a fascinating rectangular shape and are almost tiny when compared to others' interiors. This makes the dash very stylish and completely different to anything else we have road tested. We like this as it gives the feeling you're traveling in a cabin which isn't driver-oriented, but rather there for everyone. Displays can be set up in different ways and offer a large choice of actions. All models have the same 2.0-liter turbo petrol engine producing 145 kilowatts of power and 315 Nm from a usefully low 1500 to 4000 RPM. It drives the front wheels through a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. If you want all-wheel drive, it's a $2,000 cost option only available on the top-spec Ultra variant. The Havel H6 has seven airbags, including one between the front seats which should see it perform well under tough new crash testing criteria. It also has autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian, cyclist and intersection support, blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, driver fatigue detection and traffic sign recognition.